Hey YouTube, Mr. Shining Time again. It's gonna be a a video. It's going a little bit of a different direction. It's gonna be a video that is going to give insight into why I am the way I am. It's gonna be a video. It's gonna talk about certain things from my past that will give hopefully the people who watch this video an insight into who I am and more importantly why I am the way I am I think I made about three or four videos already tonight and it's just a lot of thoughts swirling through my mind when I think about the state that I think about my everyday existence I, I reflect a lot I think that is something I do I sit back and reflect and ponder on things but this is gonna be a video about why I feel it is so important for black women to feel beautiful and to feel comfortable with themselves and why I feel the need for black women to stop trying to emulate the European woman. The white girl with the blonde hair and the blue eyes. I wish black women would stop trying to straighten their hair to be like them. I wish black women would stop trying to conform to the European standard of beauty. For those of you who have watched some of my other videos, they'll know that I went to a predominantly white school in middle school. When I was in 6th and 7th grade and then 8th grade I went to a black and Puerto Rican school. The funny thing is when I reflect back is the first girlfriend I ever had and I don't know if I really want to admit this I don't know how people will take it but the first girlfriend I ever had was in fact white and I'm not gonna lie she she was very attractive and she was blonde and she had blue eyes yes blah 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 and she was Jewish actually and I liked her very much we actually went to the dance together a dance that we had it was called like the, the, the winter festival snowball whatever the hell it was and we actually went together me and her and she was really the first girlfriend I ever really had. And I think from that experience, I was really my, the way I thought about beauty and what I thought was beautiful was altered forever. It was altered drastically because I went to middle school in the years following my return from Nigeria and after I came back from Nigeria the African the Nigerian girl was my my paradigm of beauty I didn't know anything else but when I moved back to the States I w was ex I was immersed in this environment where there was nothing but white females and so white females became my paradigm of beauty and what I became attracted to. It was a complete 180 from what I from what I liked in Nigeria to what I liked here in America. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say that I was wrong or regret how I felt back then I mean I was only a, a kid 
you know, teenager, you know, 12, 13 years old, but I still think, and I still would find that girl attractive today. You take that however you want, but her being my first girlfriend, really, it was one of those influential moments in your life, you know, those moments you can look back on and say, that was an important moment in my life, and dating her was a very important moment, it was a turning point, it was a catalyst for change, now that I'm in my 20s, I've had to reevaluate my sense of beauty and what I'm looking for and what my ideal woman would be. When I was younger in my earlier 20s, I really had I really wrestled and struggled with beauty as far as women goes and what I wanted. A part of me wanted to reject black women completely because they were so far from what I found attractive. But then another part of me wrestled and realized that that is an unrealistic view to have and it is a, perhaps an even detrimental view to have because living in America, I know that black women are my best option. Some people may disagree. But from my point of view, they are still my best option. And so I really had to work and I really had to struggle to shift my my goggles, my European goggles, and shift that back towards what I had learned in Africa and to what I had learned to love and appreciate my women and my African women. So... This is just a video to explain that I went through a transition period where I went from appreciating and loving the beauty of my African women to dating a white Jewish female who completely changed my thinking about beauty and altered it for years to then in my adulthood having to actively wrestle with this question of beauty and what was attractive and what I had been told in my life experiences and try to bring myself back to loving my women, black women, and trying my hardest to break away from the European standard of beauty that I had been immersed in. It was... And it still is an ongoing struggle. And I still have to remind myself every day to try to encourage black women to feel beautiful with, in their own skin. And I have a little sister who I try to encourage to feel beautiful and to feel confident just the way she is. Without having to conform to the mainstream with the standard of beauty. I think this is probably one of the most honest and honest and just in-depth videos I've made about my past so far. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, reply. And that's my video. I hope you learned something about me today. Thanks for listening. I'm out.